All right, everyone. I'm Afro Luigi, and travel. By your command. Off we go. I kind of like these little loading, these little cutscenes. I kind of wish they'd do some background loading in them, but I can see why they don't. Banging noises draw you to the shared McWarrior barracks, where you find Medusa disassembling with a leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside him. He pauses and explains. There's a few cubic meters of dead space back here. I'm making room so we can stretch out without hitting the bunks. As for as the sound, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Uh, Medusa technician, make the change easily reversible. You look over Medusa's work. This is a temporary change, yes? Medusa blinks and quickly nods. Yes, Commander, you say the word and I can have this back the way it was in 90 minutes, 21 chops, 120 chops, good as new. You nod. Good. Carry on. However, in the future, you will get sign off before you start anything like this again. Are we clear? Yes, Commander, he says. Ready to go over financials whenever All right. Well, we at least made that money on that last planet. Uh, we're going to keep going with the same. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've arrived at Alloy Commander. Ready to proceed? Yes, we're ready to proceed. Commander, I'm setting a course for Lady Centrella's jump ship. It's strange, though. This moon it's taking us to. Alexis doesn't appear on any of my maps, which leads me to wonder where exactly are we going and how do they intend to get us there. Several hours later, uncharted space. That's always a great start. That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards used a pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffer a misjump, a sour stomach would be the least of your concerns. The leopard could have gotten irre irreparably mangled. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. When exactly did you realize what Centrella's jumpship crew was pining on doing? As we, as we were on our approach to dock with the jumpship, it was way out of position to use any uh, legitimate jump point. Putting two, two together, I could guess at what they were going to do. And here's the million Seabill question, Mayor. Why didn't you say anything about this before we jumped? Because it wouldn't have mattered if I had. We couldn't afford to turn down this job. Given the situation, I figured that ignorance was pl probably bliss. We'll talk about this later, Meyer. But for now, but for now, what's done is done. We're here, and there's money to made. Uh, the Argos crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it belongs to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sybil. Her gang is the closest thing that Alexis has to a ruling council. Grim Sybil? Is that supposed to be scary? Sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think that Alexis gets a lot of visitors. They have a strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I've seen a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. Define light. I can't put an exact number on it. All I have are surface scans to go on. From what data I do have, I'd expect the pirates to be able to feel the full lance of light mechs, all of them in poor repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger. That'd be Grub Sybil's mech. I don't have any information on tonnage or armaments. But given the shape that everything else is in on Alexis, I imagine it's being held together by chewing gum and bailing wire. What do you have on her? Yeah, I hadn't either. Centrella's intel says that Grim Sybil mostly stays put on Alexis, but she's got at least a dozen pirate gangs operating under her banner, so she must have something going for her. Her bio is pretty sparse. There isn't a lot of meat here. Just know that she came under Lady Paul. That she came up under Lady Paula Trevelyn, the pirate queen of, of the Tortuga Dominions. I guess that's impressive. I have a personal connection to Lady Death and all. Lady Death, really? I swear, man, these pirate names are killing me. Our mech warrior call signs really any better, Yang? Uh, hmm, let me think about that one, boss. Curly. No, no, I guess they're not. Very clever, wise ass. Now, knock it off. Darius, is there anything else worth mentioning in the file? 
Or can we get back to talking about the mission? Well, it looks like Trevelyn and Sebel had a falling out. That's not terribly surprising, given the Pirate Queen's track records. Sybil managed to survive somehow, good on her, and she's been living on Alexis ever since. The rest of the report is just a rap sheet. Apparently our Pirate Queen has racked up an astonishing number of kills over the years, mostly against merchants and freighter crews, but kills all the same. She likes to get her hands dirty, and she knows her way about a battle mech, and that's all I got. So like the pirates have vehicles, turrets, and maybe a few battle mechs. Got it. Keep it up. The entire tr structure is surrounded by radar and guided anti-aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar tower so some IR can approach the derelict. After you secure the crash site, she'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200-year-old wreck flying again. Lady Central has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe their chief engineer can pull this off. I've never heard of Dr. Farah Murad before Lady Central mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth, but Doc has quite a reputation, it's supposed to be some kind of frontier engineer wonder kind, and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. Uh, I guess we'll find out, won't we? For better or worse, yes we will. I'll leave you to it after a good hunting on the moon service, I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Awesome, and I can't fly this mission because I'm still out of order, so hopefully my team can do the trick. Yeah, I really hope my team can do it. Oh. That's my phone. Mute. Whatever it is, it's not important. It's a Facebook message, nothing important. Destroy the radar towers to bring down the anti aircraft guns. Proceed to the Argo crash site. Defend against Grim Sybil's pirates while Dr. Murad teams restores power to the derelict. All right. So, hmm, hopefully, well, I jumped in this mission a little bit ahead of what I normally do. Normally I like to do a few more missions before I sign on to this, just to get a few more mechs, but we're jumping in. Hopefully we're not jumping at the deep end. Command interface initiated. If we are, well, let's, well, we'll sink or swim. Welcome to Lexus, Commander. It's every bit of charm as you'd expect a pirate-occupied moon to be. You'll find Grim Sybil's radar station just ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles for the time being. At least we know that Grim Sybil's at least one Lance Battle Max will be ready for anything. Be careful of pirate turrets. Alright. So, I want to get that turret generator, I think. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Got it. Got it. I've got something. No oh, one else singing this. Wake up, you idiots. We've got company. But they're driving giant battle mechs. We can't fight against Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight. Oh boy, I just walked into the um, shitstorm tonight. Giving him everything I've got. Orders. Uh huh. Got it. Perfect. Half health. Ready for orders. Acknowledged. Yeah, so, um, Pirate Queen's, uh, minions aren't too happy with, with her right now, I imagine. Confirmed. Yes, Commander. Well, hopefully we can take out that turret generator on this next, uh, sweep. Even want it perfect. Turret generator gone. One less structure. Yes, Commander. Yes. 
Acknowledged. Let's spread out and start taking out these tanks. Acknowledged. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, can you jump up there? No. Yeah, I definitely want to take out these uh, tanks before I, uh... Before I waste any ammo on the, uh... Well, I'm not going to use ammo on the buildings. But I definitely want to take out the tanks first, just to save our battle mechs for the uh, upcoming fight. Confirmed. Perfect. I should stop wasting ammo on the tanks too, actually. Just switch to energy Enemy weapons. Vehicle destroyed. Yes, Commander. Awesome. Just a few vehicles left, I think. Uh, race. Don't waste ammo. Ooh, a striker. That's not. That's gonna hurt. Wow, that was not impressive. Give him everything you've got. Roger that. Engaging. Hehe. <laughs> Reporting. One less vehicle. Standing by. Confirmed. What can I do for ya? you? Yeah, if you jump up there, you can get the tank. Nice. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Yep. I like how I like how this is just like yep. Oh, I should have leveled them up. These guys up. I copy. Yeah, he's not much for banter, is he? You. Coordinates received. Firing. Good to go. Time to fly. Special delivery. Commander. Yeah, he's very simple. Tear it down. Rot it down, Commander. Good to go. Roger. Totally forgot this planet has no atmosphere, and that's why everything's heating up so quickly. Good to go. Locked on target. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. Target acquired. It's taking a I little longer ya. doing it this way, but worth it to save on ammo. We're going to need it to come the next section. Tell me what to 
That's done it, Commander. The AA guns are down for now. Get to the crash site and secure the area. Target destroyed. Moving out. On my way. Oh, those poor half dumps. Hopefully, no one was in them. Where's the Argo? Oh, there's the Argo. Ready for orders. Waiting for orders. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Got it. Aye, aye. This is actually a fairly sizable outpost she has going on here. Coordinates received. Don't need to tell me twice. Move order received. Copy that. Uh, nice little power poles. Got it. Coordinates received. On it. Orders. There we go. The crash site is secure. Samara, you've got a clear approach in the Dela. Two steps ahead of you, Exo. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. Oh, perfect. They're landed on the other side. Heading out. On my way! On my way! Package is delivered, Exo. I'm taking the lever to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Mark. Dr. Moran, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Dr. Mr. Oliveira. We're on our way inside now. All right, people. You know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. With pleasure, Dr. Marad. Standing by. Hey, a tactician, commando. Negative damage, repeat. Negative damage. Commander. Location confirmed. And HC and the SRM. Target confirmed. All right, vehicles are moving out. So we have two mechs and oh, seven units. Ooh, three vehicles it looks like. Aye, aye. Coordinates received. My mechs are really spread out right now. Engaging. Okay, it's time to get Decker to pull back, I think. I hear ya. You betcha. All right, let's go. Uh, sure. With those two lasers, sure. Here we go. They have three light mechs. Okay. Tacticians are treating. What's up, boss? Uh, yeah. You go over here and start taking out those vehicles. At least getting sensor locks on them so we can, uh, a locust, a locust. Roger that. All right, one vehicle down. Reporting, vehicle destroyed.
a Jenner. Okay, Decker's definitely exposed. What's up, boss? Actually, moving. To no, he isn't. That poor little locust. Oh my. Hostile eliminated. That was definitely something. Either that guy up there, this guy, you have a better chance of hitting. Actually, if we have precision strike it. Yeah. Center torso. Got it. Waiting for orders. Man, Medusa's just so far back compared to everyone else. Uh, he's been very effective that far back. Back destroyed. Dr. Marauder, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the door to engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. Confirmed. That's not good. It sounds like the interior, um, the marines aren't doing so hot. One more for the trash heap. Waiting on you, Commander. Moving out. Where's she at six and seven? Final guys. If you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable uh, little scrub, nobody steals from Gurm Sybil. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. That's a big mech. Uh, yeah, that's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire, and you should be able to take it. Look, it's a quick draw. Orders. Heading out. Affirmative. Take out the Shadowhawk first. It's he's gonna go up and punch, right? That was my plan. Oh, he only lost one evasion though. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Locked on for physical attack. Good to go. Don't need to tell me twice. Here it comes. Receiving you. Uh, can you get to a place where you can... Ah, uh, you can get line of sight on Sybil's mech from there at least.
Uh, let's precision shot her with center. Oh boy. I was not expecting that. I was expecting her to go after my uh, flak track again. Internal structure damage. Commander. Position confirmed. Um. You know what? Sensor lock, Grim Sybil. Oh boy. Oh, I. That hurt. Uh, oh, sorry. Literally, in her case. Ready for orders. All right, let's get you back. Roger that. Engaging target. Waiting for orders. Ready, set. Precision strike again, center torso. Special delivery. That didn't do much. I need you to end this fight. Oh, you can also call shot this. Oh, you can only call. Yeah, we'll just do it. Ready for orders. On it. Oh, I found mechs 5 and 6. Oh, units 5 and 6. Let's see how you like this. Alright, I need to get Behemoth out of here. Receiving you. Glitch can way. Oh, glitch is also overheating though. Tell me what to shoot. Good to go. Uh, yeah, just... Heat sink destroyed, that helps. I think I hit something good. Okay, yeah, Behemoth just needs to start retreating. I'm taking internal damage. Mech warriors, show them what you've... Receiving you. Uh, no, I'll have you jump up here though. Lifting off. Oh, I was on top of the corpse of the other one. Oh, right leg destroyed. That hit something good. Ah! Oh. That was my bad. Commander? Uh, yeah, I just melee that Shadow Hawk while it's standing. Lock 
locked on. on the armor, buddy. Receiving you. On it. Oh, boy. Any more hits like that? Uh, let's do that. Oh, you can do a full. Nice. This is going to be an expensive mission to recover from. Ready for orders. Uh. Firing. Shit. I am not in good shape. That's a miss. Ooh. My mech is going over. Ah! Ah! I took some shrapnel. Receiving you. All right. Shot got past my armor. Waiting for orders. Okay, I'm wondering if that thing has jump jets. Back to standing. Wait, we have a Shadowhawk, don't we? Yeah, they have jump jets. Engaging jump jets. Laser and laser firing on target. Commander firing full complement on enemy. Right arm destroyed. Oh, come on. Scored a critical hit. I think still has missiles. Okay. Engaging. Right arm, left torso. Standing by. I just jump you out of the way. Confirmed. I'm 
showing minor damage. Waiting for orders. Uh. Yeah, you know brace up there. Sounds smart. Cooling. Come on, you can finish up that quick draw. No. Yes. This moon is mine. You can't. Orders. Understood. Moving fast. And Medusa is going to end this, I think. Acknowledged. Nope. I hoped. Good to go. Affirmative. Got it. Critical hit, Commander. Yes, Commander. Roger. And behind him. Only fire one. Got the angle, taking the shot. Oh, he even moved that time. Commander? On my way. Glitch can't really move either with the uh, damaged oh, leg. No. My mech is limping. And let's throw in a light laser or two or three. Roger that. Yes. Get on, the Argo Commander. I'm just about done. That's a kill. I copy. Here we go. And we're on board. Uh, it's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now. Celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is going to fly. So that mission hurt. Probably because of my bad strategy. We earned one million though, so we're good for a little while. Ugh. I definitely want that quick draw. I want that shadow hawk. And I'll take the Jenner. We're going to get a cutscene, and that's going to be the end of this episode. Once we're past all the dialogue and stuff. We have liftoff. Look at all that debris falling off. Now, I know some of that's part of the buildings and the structure and stuff like that, but holy is she in rough shape.
Dun 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 dun. <coughs> Choking on my water a little there. In exile, high orbit all the way. You've done excellent work, Commander Luigi, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you again, Curly. Or should I say, Commander? You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you, seeing us here at Alloway. Seeing us at all. I apologize for that, but I had to make sure that you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now with the Argo on its way to Lyraton for repairs, I know you are everything I remember and more. I'm everything you remember. You show up after three years and that's all you have to say? <laughs> Go easy on her, Commander Luigi. She's been living in exile since Espinosa stole her throne. The broadcasts of her death were directorate propaganda, well crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations and keep me apprised of whatever decision you come to. Ladies, her face wings off, blah, blah, blah. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda, Curly. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case, this very well, this very nearly became true. The Directrix assassins pursued us into the frontier. In the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually, they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. Where have you two been hiding for the past three years? As far as the Directrix, as far from a Directrix base as we could get without leaving the frontier, a miserable little ball of rock called Zathras. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of intersign internecine strife and bloody turmoil. There are prowl structures and mad nobiles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. So you're saying it was a typical frontier world? More or less. Living on Carmadir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough outside the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coop shaped, changed everything curly, including me. You and Centrella send us after Yargo. I'd like to know why? In part, as a test of your abilities to make sure that your performance on Cormadir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coop has taught us to be careful, Commander Luigi. We couldn't just reach out to you on faith. But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship, Curly. She's a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and the return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel once, a true product of the Star League. Under Durag, Dr. Murad's care, she will be again. Okay, you made it off of Cormadir, and you found me. Let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back, but I can't do it without you. We have resources, an army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patrons of Lady Centrella and the tactic support of her government. That means money. A great deal of money. The matricity is bankrolling you, huh? Unofficially, yes. Using Lady Centrella as an intermediary, the Magistrate sees Kamea's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate dealt with, but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They prefer to keep their own hands clean. The Rimworld Preferiary is a power keg, Curly. Tensions between the Tarian Concordant and the Federate Sons are high, and my uncle's military posturing could be viewed as provocation by either side. In open conflict between superpowers or corrupt, it'd be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistracy wants to avoid getting dragged into a full war. And your house Centrella's best hope for a clone solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the director from the board, and the magistracy lets tensions between the Federate Sons and the Torians simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation Collect correctly, Lady Orano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliver, but understand that this isn't about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The founding council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads, our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Specimenos is long due for, overdue for a reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. Join with me, Curly, and we will not fail. Uh, yeah, I pledge myself and my company to your cause. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, you cannot wage war on my happy half while your travel restrictions remain in place, and so I shall break them. Now you know that you have pledged yourself to me, I will buy your company's debt, all of them. You'll be free to pa travel and seek clients as you please. So long as you come with me when I call for you, and on that day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debt wiped clean. 
Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous, given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to have Centrella, we have money to burn. Um, I took down the scum that betrayed my family, Kamea. It seems only right that to help you do the same. Thank you, Curly. I feel that Raja Montgomery is smiling down on us, even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again, and when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Curly. Our war is about to begin. Lady Verano just bought all, all our debt, Commander. That means no more bankers. restrictions on jump ship access. We can travel to more systems now, but we should still steer clear of the major states. We don't want to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Dr. Murad and her crew got the wrecked ship safely, they found most of a Centurion in its cargo hold. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think I could return it to service. So I'm by the mech bay to check it out and repair it. Uh, it's good at taking and giving a beating. CNA models are able to engage at any range, but their damage curve increases as they approach a target. Are we going to do some mech repairs? Yeah, we are. Alright. Left leg, refit. We need to replace and give it back its jump jets again. Confirm. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Replace. Jump jet and SRM ammo. Place. I'm going to move that jump jet over here. And AC5 ammo and AC5. Place. Uh, I should reset. Uh, let's go back. Can I buy stuff? Nah. Alright, let's buy a jump jet. Let's buy two of them, actually. Alright, repair. Replace that. We need... We'll put one of our jump jets on it. We'll put some SRM ammo. We'll replace that. AC5. AC5. And another jump jet. And replace that. Confirm. Confirm. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too And hard. you just need to be repaired. Oh wow. Um What's this? Oh. Can I just load default? Uh, two emulators in the center torso is the default, so let's do it to the default. And right A, right arm is AC10. Do I have an AC10? I do not. And we have long range. Do we have an LRM10? And we have LRM10 ammo. Oh, we have LRM. So yeah, let's buy, let's see if we can buy an AC10. Actually, let's just do a uh, AC5 in the meantime. Right torso, AC10 ammo. And LRM10 with... Wait. Oops. Uh, how do I go back? Go back. No. Put back. Here we go. Left R, uh, left torso, LRM 10. Left torso. Double up on the LRM 10 ammo. Perfect. Confirm. Uh, 
Wait, did I do this wrong? Yeah, if it AC 10 ammo instead of AC 5 ammo. Alright, what's going on there? Um. Uh, this mech is. Oh, unused tonnage. Okay, let's load up on center torso ammo then. Just load up on front frontage armor. Can we just max out all its armor? We totally can. Same with the legs. Confirm. I'll let you know when that's done. So we are two months away from being comp fully combat ready. Actually, we are just a month and a half away. Either way, that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Which is... so, and actually, let's look at the... Yeah, well, that'll wait for the next episode. Bye.